Good morning. It's Sunday today. Sunday post Corona. So after last week's break with the video, I'm back to my YouTube operations. <laughs> right now I'm crocheting a carrot. I made this one yesterday already. Um, the green part is still missing. I am restocking the souk shop. They're opening an online store very soon, so I need to get some more stock done. Which is quite nice to, to switch from drawing to this here and there. I think now when summer goes away, when autumn starts, it, this is like the perfect activity for an autumn evening. Also today is a cooler day on the weekend and I just love it. And I just booked tickets for Louise Bourgeois exhibition. So CB and I were going today in the afternoon and of course I'm taking you with us. It's, I'm really excited. I've been seeing these posters on Uban just before I got Corona and I was thinking about it. Oh my gosh, when I get better with, when I get over Corona, we're going to do this and we're doing it. These little vegetables, they're like kids toys. At the shop, they have like a big basket and then all of these fruits inside and then people can buy them individually. Some of CB's friends' kids, I gave them a few and they have them in this little kitchen. Ready. So Sibi, um, what did you think about the exhibition, Louise mm. Bourgeois? Amazing. Amazing. I didn't. I haven't seen anything of her before. And um, I, I think it was like really. Usually I'm pretty like old school, you know, with the uh, like stuffy old yeah. paintings and stuff. Yeah. And with contemporary art, I kind of get uh, annoyed with the uh, kind of compulsion of artists to always try and reinvent the wheel with uh, using lots of different types of mediums and doing crazy things and trying to be super smart and super inventive but with her I, I think she she used different mediums but you kind of buy it 100% that it all came from a genuine place mm -hmm. and you get a real sense that this all comes from the same uh, person and the same and she's expressing the same kind of themes about how she feels about I guess life and how, and especially how she feels about certain aspects of being a being a woman. That so, what do you think? You had seen uh, some of her stuff before, right? Yes, uh, a few years ago in London. The, a few things, not as much as this one. This one was quite a giant exhibition, but it was about her last 20 years of working and was focused on textiles. And I also thought how great it was that she was working in all these areas all her life, whatever media she found. Uh, was closest to her at the time. I loved seeing the spider. I've never, I haven't seen, yeah, yeah, I haven't seen one before, but I think there are a few, and it's really amazing. Oh yeah, I love the um, little patchworks or weavings that were hanging on the walls. I took so many, uh, so much footage of them just because, like, for, for me personally, to go back to and like, I love the colors. Just am amazing like, designs she made. Like, really, really great technically she is. How how do you would you say does this influence your own art, your own work? Take away yeah. from. Or just to be okay with trying different things, drawing mostly, but why not try other stuff as well? You can translate that into so many different things. And I think your your illustration and your um, crocheted vegetables and everything you do is a similar thing like with her, where it's, it all goes together, even though it's very different. Mm. 
um, <laughs> think so. I think whatever you direction you would go in would be super great. the Slovenian organization there were some changes you know like when you work with a client there's always back and forward I'll show you an, a version that is not uh, the final accepted one I'll show you one of the working ones not the final color one so this is about the composition the composition is gonna be quite close to this one and as little kids doing their things I don't want to show you too much. I'll show you everything once it's all done and out. It's gonna be hanging in every elementary school and kindergarten in Slovenia in October. finished work and these guys came for a surprise pickup. They sometimes <laughs> sometimes come pick me up at the shop and today I really wasn't expecting them. But it's so nice. On Friday we have apartment viewing and we um, we went to check where it is and it's that building up there. <laughs> I can't show too much in case we're gonna live there. Because we came for a surprise visit and he didn't have dinner yet so we bought them. A can of tuna. <laughs> Eddie, huh? Teach me some today. More necessary than this lemon. But I just want to finish it before. I still need to get a little brown yarn. I don't have it here because it's in storage to like make little pips here and then like add that to a little green leaf also. <laughs> it's lunch break and we're going apartment viewing to Kreuzberg with the gang. We'll see how it goes. Hmm? <laughs> what did you think of the apartment? <laughs> uh, it, it was so run down. Yeah. It's like um, I think I think we really the problem is that one becomes desperate here because there simply aren't enough apartments for the amount of people looking. Yeah. So one kids oneself and then so one has to be kind of I think disciplined with yeah. not going for shit apartments. Yeah. I definitely get like oh I mean this we could work with this yeah, or we could do this and that but course, like yeah. for. For the prices that apartments go for now, like this yeah. one, you saw the state of it. Like, and I mean, it wasn't even that nice elbow with that high ceiling. Like, I almost crashed my head when I went yeah. through the door. Run down. State. Yeah, it was sketchy. Sketchy. It was entrance. like you're walking through a, a complete ghetto, yeah. kind of. The area then, is fine, but like, yeah. I mean, like for the price, like for thousand four hundred something. Seventy. Yeah. Even like, yeah. I you mean, get you, <sighs> that thing would have been, I think. If that thing is like 800 or something. We've got two more viewings tomorrow and um, in Prenzlauerberg, yeah. nice area. And uh, I think, I mean, prices, like, we went up in our budget a little bit yeah, just because, to. like, we have to. Because that one was one. Time. But, but for that amount, then we expect, like, we, yeah. we, we are gonna be, like, 
and we, we you know, know it has possible. to be beautiful and we have to love the area and yeah yeah you can keep my swearing but uh, <laughs> I just get like I guess I'm just a little angry about the cheek of it all. I mean, yeah. the, the fact that they uh -huh. ask for that amount of money, they're only able to do it because there are, there's way more um, demand yeah. than there is supply, so they're, they're becoming quite tyrannical yeah. in their prices. Yeah. Today's task, what I have to do is all the social media stuff for this poster thing that I showed you in work a few days ago. Let me show you the final one. So, this is gonna be it. And now I'm making all the um, Facebook posts and Instagram posts with the individual parts of the poster. And now I need to do a Facebook banner and a website banner. And it's a, I'm really enjoying this project. It's like a little bit of a graphic design as well with this um, social media stuff. Yeah, I've really been enjoying this one. It was a bit challenging like to, to start with. Like, you know, with some projects you get an idea straight away, like what you're gonna do and then you do it and it's fine. Or like a few ideas, but this one I really like struggled to get something together that um, I could present like as ideas to the client but now with the final one I'm super happy with they were like super collaborative and also with the final result I'm super happy because I, I haven't had any illustrations that are like a busy composition like with lots of stuff inside I've had lots of stuff that's like one central thing in the in the middle of the um, format and that was it but now finally I have one that's like a, a little bit more complex Today was a weird day. <laughs> it all started with the third day of no internet. And that's quite bad on its own already. And then I also got period, so that was shit. So I can barely deal with one of these things. And two of them together are just a bit much, so I didn't film anything today. But survived that. We still don't have internet. It's actually quite crazy how dependent one is on the internet. There's so many things I, I just can't do. I'm leeching on CB's uh, cell phone data for the necessary things that I need for work. I need to sort that tomorrow. We saw two apartments today, both nice, in Prenzlauerberg, both of them. So we'll see how that goes, applied to both of them. And tomorrow is weekend and I'm gonna edit this video for you. And I'm going to start filming the next video already. Yeah, this vlog was a bit of a mix. A little bit throughout the week. I'm vlogging. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed it and i see you next Sunday.